Good morning dear students. Today let's start a new chapter. The Kutipuram Bridge. It's a poem written by Adesheri Govindan Nair. So first let's discuss about the writer Adesheri Govindan Nair. Adesheri Govindan Nair is called the poet of strength. He is also very famous for the for his work Pooja Patil. And he is the first poet who moved from the tendency of romanticism to realism he started to depict the real life real life of the people and he is also one of the first poets who has made attention to ecological conditions his concern for eco- ecosystem can be seen in this poem the kutiparam bridge he has written about 19 collections of poetry and uh, more than 300 poems were written he has also written many essay collections and six collections of plays as well moving on to his life adesheri uh, govindan nair was born in kuttiparam in malappuram district into a very poor family who has a feudal past that family has a feudal past feudal means jemi jemi kudiyam vyavastha Uh, he was unable to study beyond primary you know that he was born into a poor family so he could not continue his study after his uh, father's death he was compelled he was forced to seek a job in the early life about in about 15 15th year he started to work as a clerk he worked as a clerk at a lawyer's office in alappura and later continued to practice his trade in his native ponnani ponnani is in malappuram so he does this job until the end of his life poetry came almost naturally to edsheri he has the inborn talent of writing poetry so it came naturally so first his poetic his inborn poetic powers were awakened at the early age by his own mother his parents were p krishna kurupu and his mother is adesheri kunju kutti amma and his mother awakened his poet poetic powers by chanting verses that is a ritual chanting verses from the ramayana to him in his early days his mother used to chant verses from Na- ramayana and his elder sister also has habit of telling him stories from puranas from the old books ponnani in the early 20th century in the ponnani the place in the early 20th century was known as a breeding ground for poetry and nationalism so annatha kalathu ponnani nu arina stalam poti valarthiyane indine poetry kavithagaleyum nationalism freedom struggle ദേശഭക്തിയെയും പരിപോഷിക്കുന്ന ഒരു സമയമായിരുന്നു എഡഷേരി ഇമ്പൈഡ് ദ സ്പിരിറ്റ് ബോത്ത് ആൻഡ് ബിക്കെയിം ആക്റ്റീവ് ആസ് എ പോയറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എ നാഷണലിസ്റ്റ് ഫ്രം ദി നയൻറ്റീൻ തേർട്ടീസ് സോ എഡഷേരി ഇമ്പൈഡ് ദിസ് സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഓഫ് ബോത്ത് പോയറ്റ് ആൻഡ് എ നാഷണലിസ്റ്റ് ആസ് വെൽ ഇൻ ദ എർലി നയൻറ്റീൻ തേർട്ടീസ് ഇംബൈബ് മീൻസ് ടു ഗ്രാസ്പ് to absorb something especially especially the information here adesheri absorbed the both spirits of poetry and nationalism in the early 1930s and adesheri has written uh, poe- many poetry and plays his mature poetry is characterized by its closeness to the culture and ethos of kerala so the, his poetic maturity is characterized by enganeyana iyala poetry le maturity kaanunnathu by its closeness to the culture and ethos of kerala his poetry is closely related, related to the culture and ethos ethos means spirit of kerala he is the bard of malayalam he is considered as the poet of malayalam bard means poet who sings who sings about kerala's verdant environment its vegetation flora rituals and festivals so his poets his poems contains this 
verdant environment verdant means greenery green green environment its vegetation flora flora means all kinds of flowers plants etc rituals the rituals that uh, happens in kerala festivals that were celebrated everything is included in his poetry and what are the other things that are included in his poetry the agrarian problem agrarian po- problem is that is related to the rural people the agricultural problem the proletariat's agony proletariat means employees agony thoilaligalude vishamangal the nationalist struggle figure prominently in the poetry these are the main uh, themes that were incorporated in his poetry and plays he also written plays so what is the major theme uh, included in his plays is that devote he is the devoted follower of mahatma gandhi so his plays included the same devotion is seen in his plays his major collections of poetry are alakavali poodangalavum arivalum karutha chettichigal kaavile paattu oru pidi nellika kunguma prabhadam and andidiri and his plays important plays are kootu krishi kaliyum chiriyum enni chuttappam chaliyathi these are very important uh, works of edasheri govind nayar he has also received sahitya academy award in 1969 and kerala sahitya academy award in 1970 so let's move on to the introduction of the poem the kuttipuram bridge and uh, the kuttipuram palam is the actual malayalam version it is translated to kuttipuram bridge and it was originally published in matrubhumi weekly in 1954 and later included in karutha chettichigal here in the kutti kuttipuram bridge we can see that the poet is expressing his both anxiety and uncertainty he is very anxious uncertainty means vishwasa korve about the process of modernization ayark modernization e kuriche oru vishwasa korve undayirunnu and he also sees that that was slowly invading the rural world around the poet so melle e modernization invading invading means occupying the rural world around the poet so in this poem both anxiety and uncertainty is expressed in this poem kuttipuram bridge so we can see about the kuttipuram bridge kuttipuram bridge is situated in malappuram and here it is built over the river perar this perar has uh, three more names that is ponnani river nila river or bharathapoya these are the names of the same river and it is the second longest river in kerala four names please remember perar ponnani nila and bharathapoya and it is the second longest river in in kerala and uh, this river flows through three districts malappuram thrissur palakkad and emerge uh, merges into the arabian sea so here the poet is anxious about the modernization that happens in this kuttipuram bridge here bridge is the symbol of modernization what happens to the nature he wa, po, poet is anxious about what happens to this nature what happens to the river when the bridge is uh, built so poet is very very anxious his anxiety is expressed throughout the poem the kuttipuram bridge this bharat poya is originated actually originates from tamil nadu annai malai and it flows through malappuram thrissur palakkad and merges to arabian sea so let's start the poem this poem is written in 1954 Uh, it is pu- published twice first it is written in 1954 and it is published later it is included in the collection of poem poetic collection karutha chettichigal in 1955 so here we see a small introduction written by the poet himself i have known the kuttipuram ferry from my childhood this poem was born out of my 
out of mixed feelings i experienced when i crossed the bridge built recently over this river the poet is very familiar with this kuttipuram ferry ferry means nadikarar kadath from his childhood from his childhood he is born and brought up in this same kuttipuram ferry but this poem was born out of the mixed feelings of the poet mixed feelings means he is very happy about the modernization that is helping people and he is worried about the condition of the river and these mixed fe- feelings are the seed of this poem when does this mixed feelings uh, experienced by this poet when he crossed the bridge built recently over this river when he was crossing the bridge built recently over the river the poet is experiencing the this mixed feelings and the poem kutipuram bridge was born out of this mixed feelings upon the bridge built recently at a cost of 23 lakhs i stand proud my eyes fixed on the dwindling perar below the poet was proud about the bridge it was very costly and it was cost its cost is about 23 lakhs and the bridge is recently built it is new and he is very proud of this bridge but his eyes fixed on the dwindling perar below even though he is standing above the bridge his eyes is looking at the river perar means bharatpura dwindling means gradually diminishing the river is gradually diminishing so even though he is above the bridge his mind is fixed on the river it's very clear that poet is more concerned about the river rather than the bridge he he mocks the temptation of people here people are very greedy about money and their status but he is also suspicious about the kind of development he is very doubtful about the development that really progresses and it is this development is not at all paying any attention to the ecosystem of the river the bridge was built but the ecosystem of the river is gradually diminishing this is the condition of the river poet is very deeply feeling sad about it this is the river on whose sandy shores i once played endless games of pool and coal the river in whose cool waves i dipped for daily prayers the poet is very nostalgic about the river he has played many endless games of pool and coal pool and coal means some games played by the children in rural areas on the shores of this river nadikarel kutigal kalikuna oru oru kaligalana and in those shores the poet has played many games all these were gone the river in whose cool waves i dipped for daily prayers so the cool waves of the river the poet dipped dipped himself for daily prayers dipped means immersed munguga nu arile prarthikane ponen munne nadiyil poi or mungal mungi poi prarthikum that is the thing now i stand proud and tall level with the kingfisher the sparrow and the crane that once flew over here the poet is standing above the bridge now he is has the same status of this kingfisher crane these are the birds that were once flew over the river but men cannot flew over this river before the bridge was built now the bridge was built and the poet is very proud that he can stand with the same position of these birds kingfisher sparrow and crane eyes fixed on the perar below here is the river bank that would be washed away when the river was in spate so even though poet is proud that he can stand level with the birds here he reminisces uh, the condition of the river in the rainy season you know that uh, it is natural that in the rainy season in the flood time 
the river is full and it will washes all the river banks river bank means nadi thirangale okke naranni kavinne okumba namaku nadi thirangal kaanan undavilla it is the it is the same condition here when the river is in spate when the river is full kavinne olugumbo namaku nadi thirangal kaanula when no boat would venture out or kite dare fly across oh nila you will swell again and inundate your banks at the time of floods no boat will go out on this river venture means undertake risky journey so no boat will cross this river at the time of floods or kite dare fly across this is kite so no kite will fly across the river the poet asks the river oh nila please swell again nuranni pondu please swell again and inundate your banks kara kavinj olugu the poet here is requesting the river to swell to swell swell means namak ariyal namak evadengil adi kondali nammala aa bhagam moyachu varunadhu pole adhe pole river nodu nuranni pondi adinde banks ne okke kara kavinj olugan the poet is requesting the river so here i stop the kutipuram bridge tomorrow we can discuss the remaining poem i hope you understand thank you